We are The Honest Guides, and on today's video, we'd like to show you some beautiful nature sites, amazing architecture, historical places, and many more. So hello, and welcome to the Czech Republic. We arrived at a place called Panská Skala. It's the rock behind me. It's nicknamed the organs. Uh, it's pretty obvious why, because it looks like organs. These 20 meter long rocks uh, that are shaped in five or six angle shape. Uh, partially they're here because there was a lot of uh, mine work going on. So uh, eventually they uh, showed up, but they've, the stones themselves are more than 30 million years old. When I was here for the first time, I was amazed at what beauties, what treasures our country has. And this is one hour away from my house and I did not know about it. Maybe the reason is that I did not know the fairy tale called Pishna Princesna, which is a famous Czech fairy tale that was filmed here and it kind of made this place popular. You can climb all around the rocks, you can go all the way to the top and I'm sure uh, you will enjoy it as much as the two of us are right now. I am absolutely no expert in rocks and I have no interest in them, but these are very interesting. Just sitting here makes you wonder like, no, this could not have been created by nature. This must have been created by men, but no, it was created by nature. And also, fun fact that I uh, learned from my auntie Wikipedia, uh, that this type of rock in Czech, it's Čedič, no idea what's it in English, it's this in English, good luck on finding it on Google, is actually a good quality for countries to be put by the ocean because it sustains uh, the um, amount of salt that is in the seawater. So that's why they were exporting it from here uh, to the countries of Benelux. When you climb up to the top of the organs, oh wow, did you hear that? Oh, that's pretty cool. Some of them actually play as organs. I didn't know that. Anyhow, beautiful view uh, to the nature, to the volcanic area that surrounds you here. Uh, but also I noticed uh, as looking at the volcanic area that there's also a little tiny pup with a little garden. Let's go check it out. I think me and Honza found the coolest village type looking pup. Uh, all the hipsters would absolutely love their visual design uh, and their tables and their ashtrays and their chairs, uh, everything. The beer is also very good and very cheap. But we also learned from the locals that these are not the only rock organs they have in the area. These are very popular, but there are ones that are hidden about a 10 minute drive from here. Uh, so we will also uh, show you those. These organs are actually two times taller than the ones we showed you just a minute ago. They're pretty impressive. They don't have that little lake, so they don't reflect in the water. They're not by the main road, so they're not that popular. But if you want to be by yourself, this is a place to go right by the road, or you can just walk here. There's so many different tourists pass around. But as the locals told us, not only about this place, but they also warned us, uh, watch out for the rocks. They do fall uh, quite often and you can really see it so be careful, but enjoy the site. It is beautiful. By the way, if you want to move around the area here on a train, you can do so. This Sklářská Lokálka goes around, which is a small glass little train would be the translation, and it will take you all around. The area where we are filming for you is called the Crystal Valley. So we can't film here without entering a glass factory. This place is called Yilek, this glass factory. It's been here since 1905. It has this amazing structure roof that, uh, as we were told, was designed by architects who worked with Eiffel on his tower. But the main magic is happening right here with all the glass makers. Uh, the person who let us in, this guy, told us, look guys, walk around, film whatever you want. Just don't show the entire process from A to Z because it is our secret and other glass makers, glass factories will be watching your videos to reveal how we do it. So don't show the entire process. Well, we'll try to show you as much as possible, but if you come here yourself, you can also come here for excursion and it is really worth it. By the way, if uh, the guys, the glass makers seem badass to you, well, check out the woman with the flamethrower.
Not everything we're about to show you today is beautiful, even though this building used to be beautiful. It was a factory by Elias Palme, uh, and they were designing and producing chandeliers and lightnings to everywhere around the world. The company was started in 1849, and this palace was built in 1905, as the dates on the front uh, um, success facade will tell you. Unfortunately, it is in this state as of right now. It's culturally protected, uh, so hopefully someone will show up and fix it. Believe it or not, it is, as of today, for sale for 3.5 million crowns. That's uh, less than 200,000 euros. So if there's somebody who's a millionaire or maybe a billionaire watching our videos and you feel like buying this huge property that is uh, for sale for a price of tiny little apartment in Prague and you feel like fixing it, uh, it would make us and I'm sure all the locals here happy. Uh, if you do come here, please do not under any circumstances go inside. It is a danger to your life as it is falling apart, but I'm sure taking a look at it from the outside uh, will please your heart as it does to us. And now it's time for my favorite, Yannick gets impressed by fun facts that nobody else cares about. Well, I just found out that this bench that is here in the city of Kamenitsky Shenov is no ordinary bench. First of all, it's concrete. You cannot lean back. Well, because it actually had a function. It was a resting place for women that used to carry glass around in big baskets on their back. So they could sit here for a minute, rest with the basket, and then when they were finished resting, they continued. The city actually built many of these around, and I find it fascinating. Thank you for letting me share this random fun fact with you from Kamenitsky Shenov. <laughs> If there's one place that's an absolute shocker that I've experienced on my travels in the Czech Republic, it's this place. Now, what am I talking about? This like random house in a random village next to Novi Bor? Well, you gotta look up. And <laughs> like, what is this? Is this like a part of an old church or a cathedral? No, this is a sampler for glass. So there used to be a factory that would make glass for churches, but before you buy it, you want to see what it will look like in your gothical church, so they would simply show it to you. It's stunning, it's in the middle of nowhere in this tiny village, so as you drive by you're like, oh, nice church, what is that? Uh, shocker for me, if you have a chance to drive by and take a look at it, it's pretty impressive. We got many tips from the locals where to get some food. We tried the pizza at La Picolina, we tried the local brewery, Born, but one place really stands out, mainly because of what it looks like inside. This place, Restaurace Hut, yeah, we had a great goulash, but mainly you can sit inside and watch the glassmakers as they work and as you dine. It is really an uh, experience worth trying, so definitely give this place a visit. You may have seen our video where we cut off love locks from the Charles Bridge and from its statues and the railings. Well, the reason we did that was because they don't belong there and they ruin it. Well, in Novi Bor, uh, the city we're in, they came up with an idea of making a, a heart uh, with fencing and it's very simple and people can put their love locks right on it. It doesn't bother anyone and I think it's an inspiration for Prague from Novi Bor. Shocker. Only 48 cities in the entire world have something that the city of Novi Bor that we're in has. And that is a bench of Václav Havel, our formal president. Now, what's so special about it? Well, it's not a regular bench where you sit side by side, but in this case, you're supposed to face the other person and have a dialogue with him or her in the ideals of our formal president. So when you come here to Novi Bor, uh, sit down with someone and discuss whatever your desire is. For example, what's that statue in the middle of the square? Or is it a bench?
If there's one place, one thing I was looking forward to see on our trip to Novibor, it's this building behind me. It's the headquarters of a glass company called Lasvit. They create glass design and chandeliers to all around the world. So if you want to see their work, you can visit Dubai Metro. You'll see one of their giant chandeliers or you can win the Tour de France. The award that will be given to you is by Lasvit. Uh, the building was voted the building of the year, of the year 2020, uh, and it's been placed here in between these historical buildings, so the contrast is quite interesting. It's entirely made out of glass, so as my friend Architect says, it's sort of an advertisement for their work. You can visit the inside on every Friday, but you can also visit it without leaving your computer, because my friend actually made a video, an episode, about the complex and he's walking all around, so you can watch it. It has English subtitles and you can look it up on YouTube. I was curious uh, about what the locals think about this building here, and I asked the kid as he was passing by, I'm like, what do you think about it? He goes, yeah, I think it's kitsch. <laughs> and Honza was laughing and said, I can think of many words uh, that come to my head when I look at this, but kitsch is definitely not one of those. We have climbed up to a place that is called Modlivi Dool. And why is such a chapel here? Well, the legend says that in the 17th century, uh, they found a boy that was murdered here. So people were avoiding this place. And to remember the tragedy, somebody hung a picture of Virgin Mary here. And then eventually people came here to pray. So somebody built a wooden chapel on this spot and eventually it turned into this uh, chapel that was digged into the rock. Then again, 100 years later, somebody turned it into this neo-gothical uh, look of the face. Uh, it's, it's only 500 meters from the road uh, up the stairs, so definitely come visit and discover the uh, woods and forests around because it's very uh, peaceful and a nice place that you can come and look at. Each and every single one of the places we've shown you today would be a reason for me to come here for a trip. But we just wanted to give you a sample of what you can see here. You can discover much more, uh, by the way, while using our perfect navigational system that we have for the touristic tours in our country. We have prepared this video together with Liberat Region. They invited us and they're happy to show around to you as well. So check out their Instagram and their website. We'll put it uh, in the description below so you can not be a tourist, but an explorer of our beautiful country. I hope locals from this region, after watching this video, will add some extra tips in the comments below. So if you are planning to visit here, thank you for watching the video, but also check out the comments. Maybe you'll find more inspiration there. Uh, this was us, The Honest Guides, which is Honza and Yannick, and I'll see you next week here on YouTube on Sunday. And in the end, I always teach a Czech word. This time will be two words that consist of almost the same letters. The first one is sklo, which in Czech means glass. Sklo is glass, and rock behind me is skala. Sklo and skala, glass and rock.